Welcome from Canada. So today we're going to talk about the rotation axis. So Blender Cam is able to rotate the A and B axis in sort of an indexing fashion. So to do that, we need to set up, <coughs> excuse me, the model. And the model, if you're just using the um, A axis, you need to center with the Y axis and not with the X. So start the X at zero. There we go. So as you can see, Now, don't worry about the, bo the bounding box. It doesn't really do anything at this point. All right, so what Blender Cam can do, let's see the top view again. So what Blender Cam can do is if you enable the A axis and you say that the A is along the X as it should be and you change the angle let's say to uh, 25 degrees uh, then it rotates the object so all it does is it makes rotations but what happens is the uh, computer uh, will will always um, make a, a drop cut uh, from the top. So if you use zero degrees for the angle, uh, and we uh, try to do a parallel, that's what we have set up right now. Um, so it's working now. Oh, this was the top. Top view, yeah. This is the top here. If you look at it sideways, remove the model. Let's say uh, we have a top uh, cut, and. Um, that's nice and everything, but what if we want to change it to 45 degrees? And so we just rotate the, uh, the model before it was zero. And now let's, let's make it 45. And so if we calculate again, it calculated again. So you uh, rotate, calculate, rotate, and calculate. And that's really, really uh, annoying. But if you need to... Uh, just do a top and bottom, then uh, that's not too bad. Uh, thankfully, though, there is a chain. So you can set the degrees and all the operations to different things, and we can set a chain operation. So let's see. Calculate and do the chain. So it's going to calculate all... Oh, right, so it made an error. Well, it's calculating now. So all my angles are, all my um, paths are calculated from zero. Yes, I don't see it. 45. So with all the rotation, 
all the way around except for zero which I can't see for some reason there's zero okay so if we look at the file uh, then you would see that the uh, a axis is zero and a axis is 45 here um, so let's delete all that now let's say um, you have a nice fifth axis and you would like to um, to make it work also so um, we're able to do that the only thing is you might want to center both axes but we'll do that right now enable A enable B uh, so let's try 90 here Um, so it gets a bit convoluted there. Um, so you can rotate this ac this axis, but it rotates not from the center. So you would need to um, put it back to zero. For this, you will probably need to center both axes. Center here and there. Right. So, if I increase, my piece turns that way. If I increase this way, my piece rotates. So it can get it can get a really uh, weird angles with that, but it still works the same as the new placement of the model now figures the uh, collisions so let, let's just get the bound box off okay there. Nope. that's the material let's get that out. so basically um, if you if I run this uh, then I might not be able to get everything and I might have some collisions so you have to uh, verify the height and all of this um, if you want to calculate this new so yeah it, this is below the zero so it wouldn't work you could get it but make sure you have enough travel between here and there um, might as well rotate. So if you rotate again, like the different angles, you can see that it gets it can get a little bit complicated. But you you are able to reach the and there you go. So. If I, and if I process again, it's just going to erase this one, but um, let's try it again. So it tries again and, you know, able to, it's it's able to, uh, to uh, process it. Now, in the file, the A angle and the B angle are going to be set. So it's going to rotate the model before, um, or rotate your block before attempting to uh, do any work. Now the nice thing about this is that it um, it can do any operation either um, excuse me a drill operation or a, a pocket operation any operation because it's, we're just moving the model so basically it is a workaround for trying to turn the tool around. This was the other approach that the uh, my predecessor took. Uh, but the thing about that is, it gives you uh, some flexibility as um, you're able to do some uh, spiral um, cuts, for example. 
So start from uh, zero, zero, and just rotate the item until the, end, uh, the, uh, the, the Y is done, uh, thereby not moving the, uh, the Y axis at all. Uh, yeah, so, so uh, this way you can do statues and um, uh, cut, <coughs> excuse me, inside of, um, of, of uh, items like a hole in here and that's why the test uh, um, toroid was here. So if you have a, a fourth axis, uh, it's not magic, you can get it to work. Um, tool is free, Blender Cam is free, we're uh, excited to get these new features out. This, this was not a feature that existed in 2016, so this is new for 2021, and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you uh, bring your friends and tell them all about Blender Cam and how it's getting new life. Have a great day.